Hey y'all, welcome to the Traveling Tony channel. I'm Traveling Tony. Make sure to share this video with your friends and hit the thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel. Today, I'm talking to my friend of uh, a lifetime friend from uh, junior high, middle school, and we started a good close relationship by the time we got to high school. And... Uh, uh, we had a little group in high school that we call the L and L brothers, and it was six of us. And I tell you, funny how sometimes you can um, think you're doing this and think you're doing that, and like your parents used to say, you think you know this, you know that, and you don't know anything because you're just kids. Well, we thought we were cool, and we had nicknames for for all of us, and mine was caveman. When was the last time you seen a black caveman? Ridiculous as that sound, that's what my name was. And the call, when I uh, let him speak, he'll tell you what his was. But we call ourselves the L and L brothers. Love them and leave them. And what's so ironic about that, a few of my, now, I fit that description. N not to brag, but I was a pretty managed kid. And uh, some of my friends never even hardly had a girlfriend, let's known to have sex with them. So I just find that a little ironic looking back at that. But nevertheless, here we go. Here's my friend, Carl Mason. Hi, Tony. Thanks for having me. Is that a good picture? Yeah, that's fine. So uh, it's funny. It's, it's interesting that you bring up that L&L &L, uh, club we had, Tony, because I don't know if you remember, we had the T-shirts made. And, and I was one of those guys that you're talking about. I didn't have a girlfriend at that time. Wasn't it red shirt? Yeah, I think it was red. Yeah. And, and, uh, and so I'm walking through the house with that shirt on. Mama asked what L&L &L stood for. <laughs> and I wasn't going to tell her, but of course my sister couldn't wait to tell her. It's damn for love me leaving. And so, and, and my mother, you know, she was old school. What do you mean love them and leave them? And what if somebody treats your sister like that and all this? So I got in trouble behind y'all's <laughs> foolishness. So I just want you to know that. So oh, I didn't know that. that over. There you go. So yeah, I, I got in trouble about that. So, but yeah, we've been uh, we we've, we've uh, known each other quite a while, Tony. Quite a while. And you have been a true friend, and uh, we've uh, been blessed. And uh, you um uh, you left high school, graduated high school, and uh, went to college. Where did you go to college at? So absolutely, you're right. I, I left Abilene, and uh, I, my first college I went to, I went to Prairie View uh, A&M University. Uh, it's an HBCU. Um, if you're from Texas, you're familiar with it. Uh, it's in Prairie View, Texas, which is about 45 miles north of Houston. And, uh, and then uh, I, I did two years there, and I transferred over to UT, Hook'em Horns, uh, is, and that's where I graduated uh, in uh, 1981 uh, from UT University of Texas. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, so, and that led you to a career of doing what once you graduated? Well, uh, as 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 with most people, uh, what I went to school to do is not what I actually wound up uh, making a career out of. So, I went to school to study advertising. I wanted to uh, be an ad advertising executive, uh, and those guys you know, put together ad campaigns, work with clients to to uh, manage their accounts and everything like that. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, but what I wound, what I ended up doing after several uh, different uh, jobs, if you will, um, because I've, I've had sales jobs, I've worked for record and tape distributors, I've done a lot of things, but my career wound up being in uh, facilities management, and that's what I do today is I don't manage buildings anymore, but I still work in a department that takes care of all of the needs that our other employees have uh, at the insurance company I work for. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, before I ask you about your your personal family life, I'd like to uh, uh, get you to tell us about the career and your mother's job and the career that she had and how important it was to black people, your mother being a school teacher. Sure, sure. I'd love to talk about that because... Uh, you know, education is so important for uh, for anyone. I, I think that uh, uh, education is the key to uh, a successful life. And and my mother, as Tony mentioned, was an educator here in Abilene. She taught fifth grade. Uh, and when 
Uh, I first started school. I, I started school uh, in a segregated school. I believe you went to Woodson as well, Tony. No, I did not. You, you didn't get to go to Woodson? No, I did not. Uh, it was a very valuable experience for us, uh, I believe. And uh, people are surprised even now when I tell uh, coworkers, especially white coworkers, that uh, I went to a segregated school. They are surprised to hear that. Uh, but that just shows you just how short and brief our history is here in America. Uh, because I, you know, I, I'm not an old man. You, when you think about segregated schools, I'm not a hundred year old man, right? Yes. Uh, I, I don't want to get my age here cause I don't want to scare anybody off, but, but I'm still young enough that I went to, um, segregated schools. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and here in Abilene, that was 1968 when they desegregated the schools. Yes. And so, uh, 69 was my first year in a, uh, in a desegregated white school. And, uh, we gained a lot, I felt like, uh, from the teachers that we had at that segregated school. And one of those was my mother. Uh, she taught fifth grade. I never got it to make it to fifth grade with, with her as a teacher. Uh, but, uh, the legacy that she and the other black educators in Abilene left uh, was tremendous for us. Uh, and it built, I think, a really solid foundation. I'm not saying that the kids today don't get that foundation because they do. Abilene still, schools still have a good reputation and that kind of thing. But it's a different environment. Uh, I even felt that when I went, let's say, from Prairie View to UT. Uh, size had a lot to do with it. But, but it was also the nature and the nurture that we got from, from the uh, professors at Prairie View was different than what, what, what they did at UT. So the nurturing piece, I think, is what uh, teachers like my mom did uh, that the kids missed out on after we left the, the segregated schools. Yes. Yeah. But my mother taught for, I can't even, I don't even know. I, I know it was well over 30 years. Um, she she passed prematurely, uh, but uh, she taught for well over thirty years. So that's great, and her job was uh, greatly appreciated and valued mm -hmm. for us black people, black on black, yeah. because blacks can associate and understand each other better than whites because we've all walked through the same issues and trials. And Tony, I don't know if you remember uh, when we did the when we used to have the reunions, the old school reunions. Uh, this, I think the second one we had, yes, we honored all of the black teachers. And yeah, you remember yeah, that? I remember we, that now. We, we had that, we had them come out and we, we gave them certificates and roses and things like that. I, I was really proud that day, uh, to have uh, been a part of that because we owed those folks so much. And I saw I, recently that Miss Parrish, uh, passed away. I don't know if you yes. remember Miss Parrish, yes, uh, she passed recently. So, so the, the, the legacy and those teachers are, are slowly leaving us, but uh, we're still grateful that we had them in our lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, Carl, uh, let's talk about your family life. You uh, married a, a wonderful lady. Right. And then uh, you had two boys, right? Yeah, I have two sons. So I've been married 34 years. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, two grown sons. They're 32 and, thir and 28. That's great. And, and that they're, they're both... Uh, they, they're both into the technology. So one's a computer uh, software programmer, and the other one uh, is changing careers from software engineering to uh, he's about to start teaching software engineering. And that's what education does for you. You, you can choose your path versus your, your path choosing you. Absolutely. You know, we, we, we um, obviously, since my mother was a teacher, education was... Uh, was a, a big part of our household. And and my oldest brother, I'd say oldest, I only have one brother, my brother uh, went off to college. And so it was instilled in us uh, as we came up that you didn't end your education at the 12th grade. That was just a stopping point, and then you went to college. So, so we all knew we were going to go to college. Uh, That's great. So, That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, Carl, thank you so much for this interview. It has been very enlightening, and I'm just glad that we're both here. And today is Friday the 13th, which I really don't believe in that superstition. But since people talk about it, and it is the 13th, and tomorrow is a good day for me, uh, November the 14th, and I'll be 61. 
So Carl and I are close to the same age, but uh, so Carl's gonna wish me happy birthday because he's fixing to leave Abilene and go back to go, his home city. Go, yep, going back to uh, the Dallas area. I live in Plano and uh, couldn't miss a chance to come by. I was gonna be in town, but I couldn't miss a chance to come by and say happy birthday to Tony. It took me out for lunch. And, uh, that he that he wanted to pay for his own birthday lunch. Who does that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> but but we we uh, took Tony to lunch and had a good time catching up and and uh, I just wish Tony the best. I'm glad to to uh, be a part of your your video channel. And I I told Tony you inspired me to maybe try one of my own. I'm I'm thinking about opening up my own YouTube channel. So. Well, you can do it. Well, I appreciate that, Tony. Thank you so much, Carl. You bet. Thanks for having me.